Hello and welcome everyone to my channel IT Simplified. The topic for today is Windows Autopilot. If this is for the first time you're hearing about this, I will say stick with me for the next 15 or 20 minutes or so. And uh, in this session, we'll be trying to uh, tell you what is Windows Autopilot and uh, how Windows Autopilot works for you. Okay, so let's get started and I would like to start with the scenario or the way we want the autopilot to be used. So say if you are an IT administrator and the person in charge of ordering the hardware in your organization. So in this case, we will be ordering a Surface Pro Intel Core i5 with a 256R drive with 8 gig of RAM. And you go and select your hardware, add it to the cart. and in this case, you'll ship the hardware directly to the employee. In this case, the employee is Anna Henderson. So you're not touching anything. You're not uh, uh, imaging anything uh, on this piece of hardware. You're sending this machine directly to the employee, uh, which is Anna in this case. So she receives the uh, hardware and uh, as soon as she powers on the computer, she will go through some settings, which includes like selecting the keyboard, the language, and as soon as she has to connect to the network, now she can be at her home. She doesn't even need to be on the cart network. She can be in the coffee shop, in the office, she can be anywhere. So as soon as she connect to the network, uh, it automatically prompts her or logs into the uh, corporate logo. So this all can be customized in Windows Autopilot. So this machine intelligently knows now that it is part of some sort of corporation. So in this case, it is Contoso. And when Anna provides her credential, like her username, as well as password, uh, right from this moment, the surface will start configuring so it will start pulling all the information which has been customized and uh, all the setups and everything will start uh, configuring all the application will be start pulling from the intune uh, which is the mobile data management option within uh, ho this whole scenario so what i want to touch now is that uh, now this is great you know uh, the autopilot that's the way we want the experience to be that's the way we want the machines to be customized but in case we want to give the employees a self-deployment option now the way the things are done nowadays is that the IT has to maintain the images so if you have multiple devices you have to maintain multiple uh, images of the operating system you have to customize it uh, you have to uh, add the drivers, uh, keep the patches, do all the updates. So you have to maintain a lot of stuff and there is a lot of work from the IT side. And then when we're talking about the self-driven, self-deployment option from the user, then they have to accept the EULA agreement. Now, if it's a cart machine, uh, most of the organization will not allow you to accept the end user licensing agreement. And uh, then you have to uh, make some further decision like if this machine is for personal usage is it for work or for home usage then you have to do the OEM, OEM registration then you also have to do some sort of pri privacy settings also and uh, you need to make decisions such as uh, do you need to uh, do an Azure AD join or it needs to be local domain join and most of the time you know the customers or the employees they don't know about these settings and 90% uh, of the time they will end up calling the help desk uh, how to configure it and asking them the question and if they try to do it of their own uh, most of the time it will be wrong configuration and uh, if you're giving your employees the option or out of the box option to configure uh, there's no other way other than the autopilot deployment that they can have they cannot have the admin account autopilot is the only option by which you have the option of uh, either giving them the admin rights on those machines or the standard account because if you're giving the auto or the box experience to these 
uh, they can deploy whatever application they want, uh, whatever customization they can do on this. And most of the corporate organization won't allow their employees to configure these things. So you want some sort of uh, restrictions on these machines. So you don't want to prov provision or you don't want to give them the right of uh, admin in most of the cases. So Windows Autopilot is the only way which will give you an out of the box experience and still give you the option of not giving the admin rights onto these cart machines. So really powerful. So the question arises how autopilot works. So it is pretty straightforward. It is a three step process. So in the first step, uh, you will order your hardware from whatever hardware vendor you choose. Now, once the uh, hardware has been ordered, the hardware vendor is responsible for providing the device IDs. This can be in form of CSV file, which will be provided to the IT admin, which is in charge of managing the infrastructure. Now, these IT admin will upload these device IDs to the Windows Autopilot service. And in this Windows Autopilot service, they can configure the profile. So they can, uh, in this profile, they can uh, skip the step. So if you want to accept the EULA agreement, if you want to skip the privacy setting, do you want to give them the admin right or the standard right? All those things can be configured within this uh, Autopilot profile. And that machine now can be shipped directly to the employee as i said the way i showed you in case uh, uh, in this case it was anna and uh, from there onwards they will just a couple of settings such as uh, selecting the uh, language uh, and the keyboard and it will be all then configured via the autopilot so employee they don't have to do anything from the it side they don't even have to touch the box it's everything is self-driven self-deployed all by using the windows autopilot so by using the autopilot basically we are all bringing or leveraging the microsoft 365 so when we say autopilot it's using the enterprise mobility and security so it is using azure ad for identity and uh, uh, in tune for the mobile device management, which uh, is included in the EMS or enterprise mobility and security, then you can upgrade your Windows 10 Pro machine to the Windows uh, and, uh, Enterprise, which is part of the Windows 10. And then you can push all those Office application, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive, all those things, which is part of the Office 365. So basically it brings everything together uh, by using the autopilot and uh, uh, the the problem that we are trying to solve is that uh, we want to lower the IT cost we want to make uh, everything streamlined we want to have self-driven uh, deployment uh, we want to reduce the overhead on the on the IT side and uh, most importantly we want to transition the modern cloud based management by using Azure AD for identity and uh, Intune for mobile device management. And we want to modernize your IT infrastructure by utilizing the full power of the public cloud or Azure public cloud in this case. So that is the whole idea about the autopilot. But let me just also quickly show you uh, how to, it is to add the devices or basically add the device IDs. So what you can do is you can go to the Microsoft Store for Business and uh, you can go under Manage. Then you can go to the Devices and over here you can add devices. So the CSV file that I was talking about, you can upload the device file over here and then you can create an autopilot deployment profile. So if I click on this one, I will Go to create new profile. I can give the name here. And then I can either have a default feature uh, for all these machines. And then I can select if I want to skip the privacy setting. I want to disable local admin account. I want to skip the EULA agreement. So all those things can be uh, configured over here. Now, a lot of people they're also asked you know why do i need to go to the microsoft microsoft store for business i am used to managing everything through my azure portal so what we have done is that 
if I go to my Azure portal, you can go to the Intune. Now, if you don't see Intune on the left, uh, left side of this blade, what you can do, you can go to More Services and you can just type in Intune and it will just uh, come over here and you can click on the star golden button and it will pin to this left side of the blade. So you can go to the Intune and all those things they can do from the Microsoft Store for Business, you can do it over here. I can go to the device enrollment. Uh, in this case, I'll pick the Windows enrollment and I can create the deployment profile by going to create profile. And I can give the name, say demo. I can select the joint type or it is Azure AD joint and I can uh, configure the out of the box experience. So if I want to hide the privacy setting, if I want to uh, hide the uh, ULA agreement, what kind of account I want, do I want to give the administrative privileges, I want to give the standard privileges. So I can all configure over here and if I click on the save button and uh, create, you will see that uh, the profile has been created and these profile can be linked to the devices. So in my case, I don't have any device, but uh, once you load that uh, CSV file or the device ID file, you can link these profile. And then the other thing that you can do right from the Intune is that uh, you can uh, also manage your devices. You can push the application. So if I want to go to mobile apps, I can go to apps and uh, I can click on the add button and I can select what kind of app I want. Do I want the Android, iOS, Windows 10, uh, anything that I want to deploy, I can uh, deploy. So in, say for example, if I want to deploy an iOS app, I can go to select app and if I want to say, uh, know what app I want to download, I can just give the name. So say I want to download a Keynote app right it will just search it i can just select that and i can go to app information and configure and uh, put on the uh, these which will be automatically uh, put over here click on the ok button add and you can see that these applications are created and then i can assign these applications uh, to the devices that I have uploaded and whatever device I want to deploy these applications to. So really powerful uh, options. So this is what Autopilot is in nutshell, which uses Azure AD for your identity and Intune for your mobile device management. And uh, the whole idea is to streamline the IT, reduce the overhead on uh, the IT department and give you an out of the box experience without involvement of any of these entities. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.